What's going on, family? You have someone who is recognized that they were not mentally nor emotionally prepared for a relationship with you wanting to hit up your phone. Capricorn, please get locked in. Family, welcome and welcome back to my channel. This is Down to Earth Tarot. Please like, subscribe, share for more of my daily Capricorn readings, and let me know where you are watching from down below. Always big shout out to everyone in Michigan. And please drop this person sign down below. We see Scorpio, Aries. We got Virgo. We got Taurus. We got Gemini. Air, heavy water all over the place. Splish, splash. But you have a history with this individual. And I feel like not only did somebody sleep on somebody here, whether it's you or the other party, because this energy could be vice versa. Somebody understands that they missed an opportunity. It's the watching you move, watching this person move over the internet for me. It's somebody recognizing that they were stunted mentally, stunted emotionally, knowing that they walked away from a situation or somebody walked away. And, and, an apology is owed. Somebody knows that they owe someone an apology. I really feel like you're disregarding someone. And I really feel like not just disregarding, but like totally sleeping on someone, underestimating them. Like somebody's ego being too big or again, the, the lack of maturity, like somebody mentally just not being prepared to have conversations with you, to be in that same space and vice versa, right? Because we do have, you know, a cross washer or two that are tapped in. And we've seen this time and time again. Somebody sees you very happy. Somebody sees you very well. Somebody sees you. And if there's also this, for me, this elevation of status that kind of keeps coming up. The fact that somebody is moving on emotionally, making certain moves. Because it doesn't necessarily just have to be romantic Capricorn. There are business opportunities that we have spoken about numerous times, career moves, opportunities, coming ups, right? That are making their way to you, making the right connections for those of you who are networking and putting yourself out there. And then there's also, again, the romantic element. Somebody is seeing you move on, grow, become more stable. And not only that, right? We're talking about seeing someone be creative. So rebuilding, it's the rebuilding for me, doing very well, things coming together for someone. And we see this walking away and wanting to come in and apologize. I also feel like it was really hard for someone to walk away from a situation during the separation and lack of speaking. And somebody understands that there's a conversation between you and this person, Capricorn, that is long overdue. Long overdue between you and this individual. Having to do with an opportunity. I feel like an opportunity or a child when I think of the Six of Cups. But really speaking about the past, going back to previous. There's a serious conversation that somebody has. Again, we already know that. Okay, we already knew. Ooh, oh. Not somebody begging you to reconcile with them to accept an apology. Not somebody understanding emotionally and mentally they were immature, not immature, toxic. Some of the things that they were doing were to keep you stuck or vice versa. But then there's this element of somebody just being very selfish. 
being very focused on monetary things, social status, what other people are going to think, and also certain habits and addiction, vices, being in control of somebody. It can't, the fact that you someone couldn't trust someone here. When I say begging for a chance, another opportunity, a chance to have a conversation with you, to start over, because clearly there was a falling out. Capricorn, I'm going to say this. This person would do anything to try and come back. There's been this, I feel like it's, while it's shocking that the, oops, excuse me, while it's shocking that this person is trying to reach out to you, Capricorn, I also feel like there's this part of this reaching out has to do with this eye opening moment with them having their own tower moment. Like there are other things going in the background that has this person coming forward, but they've been watching. They've been paying attention. They've been feeling a certain type of way. But now that there's this situation happening, you know, maybe, maybe now's that maybe now's the time to, you know, humbly apologize, reconcile for something. And we see somebody being, you know, embarrassed, remorseful, understanding like at least owning the damage that they that they've done. And that's not to say, Capricorn, only one party was at fault. Okay, it, it takes two. This person is ready to take accountability though. Ooh. For those of you who have moved on into another romantic situation, that may very well be the eye-opening thing for them. Like they thought that they had more time, you know, back to our Sagittarius energy here with the Father Sims or the Temperance. But to see and understand that you're in something serious, married, committed, getting ready to, you know, have children, bring um, life into this world. Seeing you level up and do something all on your own, creating a business, doing very well for yourself, buying a home, you know, moving to a certain place, relocating, that also shocking this person, like waking them up that they're losing access to you. And not just, because clearly they can see you. This isn't a, I don't feel like this is a no contact situation, but like somebody who's kind of hanging around, in and out even. Like you've left the door open for this person. And so they're trying to come back. They see you doing well, wanting to apologize and hoping that this apology will, will turn into some will turn into something else. There's also this fear from this person that even with this apology coming in with gifts, grand gestures, that you may not accept. And a lot of that having to do, especially for those of you that have relocated or moved on with someone else. This person feels like you may be out of reach. And that's also part of this, let's have this face-to-face -face conversation for those of you that this person understands that you're leaving if they can catch you beforehand. Somebody is seeing and feeling that you are moving on and they, and they do not want that. Look at that. Four, five, seven. Mm, mm, mm. Hearing whispers about you being happy in another situation, being stable, whether it's in, you know, romantic or with someone. Seeing you happy and not thinking about this person, totally not being focused. is exactly what is bringing this person back. They haven't heard from you. They haven't seen you. When they see you or even hear about you, things are going very well, killing me. 
the light. Um, and now this person is willing to fight for it now that they're on the outside. Now that again, I, it's this, it's the other situation for me. It's almost like now that you're out of reach or getting ready to be, now this person wants to, wants to make a change or talk about how invested they are. The repeating numbers, the eights and the sevens, couple of fives as well. Yeah. It's almost as if this person feels like they're too invested or even you were too invested to just quickly move on. Let me tell you something. And this is why sometimes you may want to keep somebody around, but you just can't. Because here's the deal. Some of you need to watch out for this person because while they're having this wow moment, there's also a, a part of this that is very ego driven. There's also a part of this where somebody is a little bit jealous of what you have going on right now as they're experiencing a hardship, as they're understanding that they are losing you, losing access to you. Somebody else has taken their place. Do not be shocked if this person does not get their way. And you know how immature this person is. More than I do. Do not be shocked if this person tries to say that you were involved with someone else during your time with this person. Like as one last slap in the face, one last dagger in the back, family. And notice how this Dr. Grant's back is turned and this knife, it, mm hmm. Please drop the sign of this ego-driven Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde individual. Whether they are male or female, we see Aries, Pisces, Cancer. It could be an Aries, Pisces, Cusper. Pisces, Aries, Cusper. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Do not be surprised this person does not, out of spite, just create unnecessary rumors, especially for those of you who have moved on romantically in an effort to bring attention to themselves, cause issues with you. In this commitment, this is 100% about manipulation. Somebody understands that they are losing permanent access, power, control, as somebody is getting more and more stable. I also feel like Again, it goes to show that this person like grossly, grossly, grossly underestimated you and what you could do, what you were capable of, what you were bringing to the table. It could even be how you were feeling about yourself, how you were carrying yourself. I feel like it's going to take a lot of strength and courage to do what needs to be done here, Capricorn. But you will have to let me know. Family, drop this person's sign down below. Like, subscribe, share. Let me know what resonated for you. Find me on Instagram. All of my links are in the description box. And Capricorn, I will be tapping in with you very soon. Keep it real.